once again, say live television. This is probably going to be in s s uh, a bunch of different parts. Um, you do a little bit something here and there, and uh, this is what happens. You get knocked off your internet or whatever. You know, um, the show's pretty basic. It's a computer with a webcam. Um, I'm at my uh, home studio, thinking that maybe the internet connection would be a little better here than at the previous spot that I was at, and uh, I wouldn't be getting kicked off as much. Um, obviously, it's the same thing. Um, but at any rate, like I said, I just showed you a couple of Brazilian bull riders, and uh, that's uh, the Brazilian dominance has been unbelievable. But the big story coming into this weekend. At least two guys fighting it out for the number one spot coming into Glendale. You have Valderon de Oliveira, who is top of the PBR, has been on top of the PBR since uh, since New York. He hasn't he hasn't uh, he hasn't lost the top spot since he won in New York. And then you get this guy Austin Meyer, who's right on his. I mean, he's right on his boot heels. Um, Austin Meyer is. You know, right now, back, like I said earlier, uh, he's behind his, He's behind 57 points. So all he has to do is ride a couple bulls this weekend, and hopefully uh, <clears throat> Valderon de Oliveira doesn't, and uh, they'll end up, uh, Austin Meyer will end up being number one coming out of Glendale. But we'll get into it. Uh, what happened? Well, well, <laughs> Let's let's start with Valderon de Oliveira and Austin Meyer. Um, Austin Meyer gets on the back of uh, Pure Poison in round one. Gets bucked off of Pure Poison. Not a very good start. Valderon de Oliveira gets on the back of uh, Cat Blue, and uh, he rides him for an 85 and a half. So right now Austin Meyer is a uh, Behind the eight ball because Valderon rides his first ball. Um, the night, though, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, uh, the night was a, a bull, a bull, uh, bull's night. I uh, had some had some numbers here on uh, the bulls and the rides. Uh, Well, out of the 35 rides of the night, uh, there were only 17 complete rides. And that was in the uh, first round. So uh, that just shows you how tough the Bulls were on day one. And then the uh, Ford Bill Tough round, um, there was uh, only three completed rides. And at the end of it all, this the night really, uh, if you think about it, um, the night belonged to this guy right here, Chris Shivers, uh, who isn't a, uh, he's not a full-time anymore, you know, um, this is maybe his third or fourth event that he's been to, uh, like I said, we're 10 events in now, uh, but this, this night was, uh, yeah, this night, this night was, uh, Chris Shivers' night, um, he scored, uh, I got his numbers here. He was on Space Jump. No, Space Jump was his first. Uh, he he rode his bull. At any rate, he rode his bull for a ninety-point ride. Uh, wrote it down. I, mean, I don't have it with, me, with the bull's name, but uh, he rode his bull for ninety points. And uh, he secured the uh, top spot uh, at the end of the uh, day one. So uh, right now it would be his event to lose. Um, going to day two, um, Chris Shivers was interviewed by the guys on dresses, and uh, he, he he pretty much it sounded like to me and. You know, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna spread fairy tales here or spread rumors, 
but it sounded like to me when he was talking with Ty Murray uh, that he was looking, pretty much he's looking to retire. Um, I think this might be, if not his last season in the PBR, I think next season is going to be his last season in the PBR. He said that he doesn't have the drive to uh, compete at a high level, uh, a championship caliber level. And uh, you know something, right there it sounds like he's ready to give it up and just hang with his family. I mean, he ain't going to give it up uh, totally. He's a, you know, he's a, he raises bulls. So, I mean, you know, but it sounded like to me that he's ready to give up the, uh, the riding portion of it. And, uh, you know, Chris Shiv has been around. He's, you know, veteran in the group. And uh, he's been around forever. And... Uh, Whatever he does, you know, we wish him the best. Uh, Chris Shivers is a proven champion. And uh, you know something, when you're a multi-champion like he is, you know, you really get nothing more to prove. You want to go out, you're still on top of your game. Um, I say do it, you know. But it brings us to day two. Chris Shivers is on top of Algaron D. Oliveira by one point. Shivers, like I said, ever since his ride, his last ride, he's been winning the event. Um, the event really is his to lose. Valderon de Oliveira gets on the back of Red Hot, rising for 87. Chris Shivers gets on the back of Space Chimp, rides him for an 88 and three quarters, still leading the event. We go into the Ford Built Tough round, and I'm going to tell you what. If there's an unlucky bull rider out there, for this one, it's got to be this guy right here, Robson Palamro. Robson Palamro comes in 10th going into the, uh, the championship round. He pulls this bull right here, and this is the bull that right now is one of the most feared Well, Actually, he was the top-rated bull of the event. It's I'm a gangster, and I told you I'm a gangster, super duty. And uh, Bushwhacker are three bulls that are on top of the PBR right now. Uh, I'm a gangster's uh, buck off percentage is uh, 46%. So he, he almost bucks off half the, half the riders that he faces. Uh, doesn't have a whole lot of completed rides on the back of him. I think he's got people have got two in his career. <clears throat> so at any rate, um, Rosen Palermo. Uh, being number 10 really doesn't get a choice. He gets this bull. I'm a gangster. Fucked off. 3.82 seconds. It wasn't really wasn't really a surprise. Uh, you were hoping for better from uh, Robson, but you know it really wasn't wasn't just wasn't in the cards. It wasn't really much of a surprise. Uh, Fabiano Vieira gets on the back of Shepherd's Hill Trapper. This bull's been ridden before. And uh, he ends up getting an 87 and a quarter. Uh, then we go into five straight buck offs. You have uh, Dustin Elliott bucked off a say when. Larry Machi bucked off a stubby. Stubby is one of these other bulls that he's a he's a good good small bull. Uh, Cody Nance gets bucked off of White Magic. Pistol Robinson gets bucked off of Mad Max. And then we get into the final three rides of the night. Shane Proctor would uh, get on the back of After Party, and I wish I had this video for you, but I don't. Shane Proctor rides After Party for 90 points. <clears throat> Unbelievable ride. The ride just it was it looked great. It was a uh, it was an incredible ride, and uh, like I said, I, I wish I had the video for you. Um, Obviously, I don't. Um, but good ride. And then uh, we get to the final two bull, final two uh, bull riders, which is uh, Valderon de Oliveira and Chris Shivers. Valderon de Oliveira needs an 86 and a quarter to take the lead, and this is what happens.
Okay, well, <laughs> somehow uh, Valderon's uh, ride isn't there. I don't understand. Uh, we're gonna try to we're gonna try to get that video footage for you. It looks like I'm looking around. That's because I'm right now trying to get the video footage of the ride. Uh, the ride was uh, incredible. So uh, it takes five seconds. Is all it, you know? I gotta find it first. That's the best the whole thing. Uh, but uh, you know, he, he ends up. Uh, all he needed was the eighty-six, and uh, you know, he ends up ends up getting a pretty good ride um, on the back of the bull. Uh, he ends up getting a uh, eighty-eight. On the back of uh, speckled ivory, and uh, I'm looking right now, I'm looking at the. I think I'm going to need glasses here in the near future. I'm just looking to see what it is. We have to get closer. So don't get crazy, people. You know. Be down and yes, there it is. This is going to be Valderon D. Oliveira's ride. Like I said, he needed an 86 and a quarter um, to take the lead away from Shane Proctor and his direct. Really gets up into there and around to the ride. Oh, God.